Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss one of the most simple and annoying problems in Windows File Explorer, which is why we do not see the folder size next to its name. Showing folder sizes can be very useful to users, but Microsoft doesn't display folder sizes the same way it displays file sizes. This may be because calculating the folder size requires repeatedly adding up each file, including subfolders. This consumes a lot of disk and CPU resources for input and output, leading to overall slow computer performance. Well, when you open any folder in File Explorer, for example the folder shown in front of you, if you look at the size column, you'll find that it only displays the file size and not the folder size. Since Windows doesn't automatically display the folder size in the size column like it does file sizes, here are two ways to find out the size of any folder. The first method is to hover your mouse over the folder whose size you want to know. After a short pause, Windows displays a hint with the folder size. The second method is to right-click on the folder and select Properties. A dialog box opens that calculates the total size and gives an exact number. This is accurate, but it takes time for large folders. Both methods are slow and prevent you from quickly comparing or sorting folder sizes or finding those huge folders that are taking up a lot of space. So let's learn step by step how to automatically display folder sizes in the size column. I will be using a tool called Windhawk. This tool will be very helpful. Open your browser and open the link you will find in the video description. Download the tool to your computer and wait for it to finish downloading. Make sure to download from the releases page in the official GitHub repository to get the latest stable version. After the download is complete, I will install Windhawk on my computer. Open the downloads folder, then double click the downloaded installation file. The installation steps are very simple. Select the language first, then click the Next button and allow it to run with the required permissions. Windhawk may request additional permissions, so accept them so it can apply Explorer patches and continue with the rest of the installation steps. Wait for the installation to complete successfully. It may take up to two minutes to complete the installation. Then click the Finish button and the tool will open automatically. After the main Windhawk window opens, we need the specific modification, which Windhawk calls Mod. Click the Browse for Mode button. In the search bar at the top, or what is called Gallery Search, type Better File Sizes in Explorer Details. Once it appears, click Details. Wait a few seconds for the download to complete. Then click the Install button at the top. Click the Accept Risk and Install button. This will download the necessary code and integrate it. Windhawk will download and install the extension. This will take a few minutes, and after installing the feature, you must ensure that its status is enabled. Click the Settings tab, scroll down, and under Show Folder Size, click the drop-down box, and select the Enabled Calculated Manually Can Be Shown option. Then click Save Settings. Then wait a few seconds for the folders to be scanned and the folder sizes on your computer to be calculated automatically. The folder sizes will be displayed in the size column. Open the same folder and you will immediately find that the size of each folder is displayed in the size column. From here, the size of any folder on your computer will be displayed in the size column. If you want to disable this feature for any reason, Open Windhawk again, and under Installed Mods, you will find the installed features. You can disable or remove them permanently by clicking Remove. Once disabled, return to the folder, and you will find that the folder sizes have disappeared from the Size column in File Explorer. That's all for today's video. Using Windhawk with the Better File Size extension gives you built-in folder sizes in Explorer without having to open properties repeatedly. It also saves time when cleaning up disks. If you liked this video, click like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell button so you don't miss any new content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.